Hey everybody, it's Mumbai Doug. Coming at ya. Good Friday night. It's a good Friday night. It's 11.18 in the evening and perfect time to grab yourself a piping hot cup of coffee for this fireside chat. <sighs> good stuff. It's been raining all day here. Pretty much all day. Thunderstorms all day. Um, but I think it's going to make way for sunshine tomorrow and Sunday. I actually had today off. Um, I had today off. Some people at my office had to work, but it's what we call a site holiday. So it's one of the holidays that our office recognizes, but if you support one of our clients that doesn't have today off, then you had to go in. So I was lucky enough to have today off. And it was nice because tonight we um, we dropped Kaya off at our friend's house. And then Darla and I went over to our, uh, some other friend's house and there were about 16 of us all went over there, had a pizza potluck, first time we've ever done that, and we watched uh, Passion of the Christ. It was good. That's like a two hour movie and it's only the second time we've seen it. The first time we saw it, we saw it here at our house because we have the DVD. But we watched as a big group tonight uh, at our friend's house, and it was it was good. Um, pizza buffet, <laughs> pizza buffet, pizza potluck. Everybody brought their favorite pizza, and so we just lined them all up in the kitchen, and everybody got to try everything. That was really good. Speaking of pizza, I have this new favorite pizza place here in town. It's called Happy Pie, and it's like New York style pizza, I think. Sicilian, I don't know what it is, but it's really good. In the 15 years I've lived in the greater Greenville area of South Carolina, this is the best pizza I've ever had um, here in town. My favorite pizza place is actually one that started in Ohio. Um, and whenever I'm in Ohio or anywhere that has this Donato's pizza, I don't know if you live in the Midwest, they've moved into lots of different places. Uh, Donato's Pizza has, but it started in my hometown of Columbus, Ohio. So if I'm traveling, I like to get that. But here in town, Happy Pie. That's my new favorite pizza place. Yeah. You can check them out at myhappypie.com. They're opening up a second location here in the greater Greenville area. So that's what we took. We took Happy Pie and cheesy garlic bread. Yum. It's just good. It's just good stuff. Let's see, tomorrow I'm getting up. I have to meet my pastor and our worship leader at 9.30 in the morning. Then we're going to we're gonna meet at um, a Hardee's for coffee and breakfast, I suppose. I won't eat breakfast, but I'll drink a lot of coffee. And then we're going to go to the church and we're going to rehearse because um, I'm going to be singing on Easter morning. I don't know what I'm singing yet. I'll find out tomorrow and I'll rehearse it tomorrow. So I'm, oh, excuse me while I'm drinking. So I'm excited about that. What else is going on? Kaya's getting glasses. Kaya's had like the week of health care. <laughs> <laughs> she just, last week was her spring break. And, um, and she had all kinds of appointments. Well, one of them was a, an appointment with, her, with our eye doctor. And she does need glasses. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe she'll pick out some high school musical or some Barbie or some, you know, some kind of glasses like that. No, not my daughter. Nope. Nine West. She picked out some frames by Nine West. Girl got taste. What can I say? She takes after her father, yo. <laughs> Just kidding. So she's going to be getting glasses next week. She's all excited. She can't wait to get glasses. Okay. That fine. That's fine. Um, not only is she getting glasses, but she has something called a crossbite. Um, we knew about this a couple years ago, a few years ago, when she first started going to the dentist. Um, they told her she had a crossbite. And I guess that's where your teeth, when they come down, they don't meet each other straight on top of each other. They're a little off to the side. So she has a crossbite. Well, last week or the week before last, she had an uh, appointment with an orthodontist. And they're not going to give her braces. Um, yet, but they are going to do something to correct her crossbite, and what that entails, they put these rubber spacers, kind of like if you had braces, they do this also, they put these rubber spacers between your teeth in the back, 
and then they fit you for these metal bands that are going to go around the back molars and they're going to be connected around the uh, near the roof of her mouth with this contraption which they can tighten and loosen and it's called an appliance. It's not like headgear or anything. It probably won't be visible to the to someone looking at her, but she'll be wearing that thing for a year. Thirteen hundred dollar piece of contraption. We have insurance pays for half of it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, half of it. So she's gonna be getting that to correct her crossbite, and then in a few years she'll probably need braces. So that'll be another five thousand dollars or whatever braces cost now. Um, but hey, good news, the orthodontist office has um, free arcade. Ugh, great. So we've got that. So she's all, she's getting all hooked up. She's getting all fixed up. At eight years old, she's falling apart, having her all corrected. Um, so that's that. I think next week, not this, not this coming Monday, but the week of the 20th, I think I'm going to New Jersey. I'm still waiting to hear on that, but I think I'm going to go, go up there. I don't know for if it's a day or two days or what it is um, for a business trip a quick one and then end of next month is my vacation to Arizona woohoo we've got a marriage retreat oh and we're going to a marriage retreat the first second and third of May here in town it's gonna be at the Hyatt here in town that's gonna be good um, we won't stay at the Hyatt well we might I don't know I do get a corporate rate at the Hyatt it's a really good deal maybe we will and my mom's going to keep Kaya for that time. So we got a lot coming up. Good stuff. Um, I haven't done anything with the kitchen. Nope. It's still in a state of unfinished. But I'll get on it. I need to borrow the nail gun again and get someone over here to help me put the, the um, crown molding up. Everything else I can do by myself, but I don't think I can hold 8 foot crown molding up and get it nailed in. So my brother said he would come over and help me do that. It's just a matter of me asking him to do that when I have time and when he does. He works second shift. So, or third shift. Second shift. Yeah. He goes in, a, in the evening and then gets off in the morning. He works second shift, so our schedules are kind of funny. All right, well, I'm going to keep you any longer. It's um, seven and a half minutes almost, so I guess that's it. Um, peace out, Westside, and catch up with you soon. Vogue. Vogue.